Photo. The Hit Brainiac. My Lord, my Lord. Well, it is three o'clock in the damn morning here in Tokyo. I usually wake my ass up at 4 a.m., do a quick core workout just to get ready for the morning and everything. But today I woke up early and I said, man, what in the world exactly happened overall last night? You know, pertaining to the things that was the only thing I genuinely care about, which is the women's division, you know, because... You know, who really cares about anything else these days? So, you know, I check out what happened. And I see Charlotte in the ring cutting a promo. I watched that promo. And I will say this, man. Charlotte Flair. Charlotte. Charlotte Flair is officially no longer a role player. I will no longer call her that after what I saw last night. Charlotte, keep keep in mind, you know, all these years I've called her a role player. I was spot on. I was dead on because she was still finding herself as a character. And um, I guess she was still, you know, learning from the leader and everything. So therefore, you know, she was once upon a time a role player. But after seeing that promo, after listening to that promo just the way I'm just I was surprised because even if you did not want to listen to the promo even if you did not want to care about it she was so damn good on that mic that it made you care because it felt real she cut a promo basically admitting to being a role player admitting to being a failure and you know what I know some people will say well why why you no this is not a backhanded compliment you know anyone who's ever um had to strive in any way shape or form to accomplish a dream in life um you know for my military uh guys out there um or guys who've even been through um the grind you know day in or day out of um college and everything where you're in um, college and you're on the brink of failing or flunking a test and you're just in the bathroom and you're just about to break down in tears because you failing means that you're letting someone else down you know it means that man I can't go home I have to win because I can't have my little brother that looks up to me you know look at me as a failure I can't fail because I can't have Uh, This person say I failed. I can't let them down where it's not about your success. You know, I mean, it is, but it ain't 100 percent about it. I felt that promo. I really did, because I'm like, man, that is that's one of the dopest promos in the last few years, man, because like I said, even if you didn't want to care about it, she made you care about it. And did she smack Ric Flair? I think, I mean, I know that there's a lot of Nature Boy Ric Flair fans out there. And I mean, no disrespect, but I don't think this feud actually needed him to come out there again. You know, I mean, she just did so dope on the mic that, I mean, him coming out there and taking that slap was the icing on the cake and everything, but it just wasn't necessary. It also made no sense. From a Charlotte standpoint, everything in this story makes sense right now. Now, from a Sasha Banks standpoint, nothing in this storyline makes sense. You know, she's this arrogant. She's the boss and everything. You know, her getting dapped up from Flair in Flair country. I can see her, you know, taking that and accepting that. But if they having a family quarrel, they they beefing on you know, some family shit. What the fuck are you doing out there? Why in the world I get that? Oh, he's Ric Flair. He raised my hand and 
Why the hell are you going out there and trying to do security job for them? Because, I mean, we've all seen Raw a million times. You've admitted to growing up and being a fan of Raw, Sasha Banks. You've seen it happen a billion times. Who the hell wrote that bullshit? Oh, she smacked her daddy. It's like all she did was smack him and start talking shit to him. I mean, y'all want to talk about, well, well, Ric Flair, he's a he's a Hall of Famer. He's the greatest of all time. So he couldn't get up and put the smack down on his daughter. He couldn't take his belt off and discipline that booty right then and there. I get his PG and all, but damn, usually when shit like that break out, what happens? Random ass dude, 10,000 referees come out the yin yang and tackle that person to the ground and get him out of there. And it's like, I get it. You know, they got beef. They got beef. And oh, Sa- Sasha Banks, she she just thirsting to put uh Charlotte in her place. Yeah, I, I, I'm i not calling her a role player anymore after what I witnessed last night. Charlotte is officially the female version of what Triple H once was. Now, even though I'm praising, you know, Charlotte right now, I'll say this. I still want to see this feud end, you know, just just someone different, you know, just someone different. Please, you know, these two have been going at each other for this long. You know, you know, at least when the Rock and Triple H went at each other, they pulled those two away from each other and had them go over here. And oh, no, I go over here and box X-Pac for two weeks and then come back over here. Oh, nah, Triple H. Now you got to deal with Mick Foley and Cactus Jack. And then they will come bring, come back to The Rock. You know, it's like, I get it. You know, they're still trying to quote unquote um, develop other uh, ladies on the roster. But it's like, man, this is getting ridiculous at this point. And there's almost no excuse for it. So personally, man, I'm just. Am I looking forward to the. Iron Woman match, the Iron Man match. Not exactly, man, but I'll take it. If this is the last match in a while between them, yeah, cool. You know, but just whatever. Just let this be the last one in a while. But why didn't Charlotte just to rub it in dedicate her match to Snoop Dogg? That would have been fucking hilarious. I mean, if you want to dedicate your match to my pop, I'm going to dedicate my match to your family and then beat the shit out you. I think that that would have been hilarious. Dedicate the next beat down to Snoop Dogg. Or um, find out uh, what Sasha Mom's name is. The Snoop Dogg won't be funny because everybody knows who Snoop is. Everybody knows about that. But yeah, dedicate, dedicate an ass whooping to, you know, Sasha Banks' family. You know, just to you know push it up there a little bit more i'm just just wow I, like i said this storyline from the perspective of charlotte makes a lot of sense but from the perspective of sasha it makes like i said the stuff at the uh, you know what happened last week okay you know rick flair is a legend He's Rick James, you know. All right, cool. You know, him dapping you up in and you know, in the middle of um Carolina is huge. So yeah. And you just basically got, almost got the shit beat out of you and scratched and claw for the belt. Okay, I get it. You take dap and you you know, you bask in the glory. But why are you running out there in the middle of a family feud brawl? Why don't you just sit your butt down? As a huge fan of Sasha Banks, I'm like, it made no sense, man. It was just, just no, like for real. But Charlotte is officially no longer a role player after that. No, I will will not call her that again after what I saw. She has made me a believer. And with that said, that's it. 